die Musik ist einfach, ist einfach sagenhaft. Of course I'll miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. The most exciting thing ever happens here is the day when it don't rain. Of course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. The most exciting thing ever happens here is the day when it don't rain. Excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. Excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. <laughs> what the heck is that? <clears throat> Get on in here, Pete. We've got us a big old asteroid on three week collision course with Earth. Get on in here, Pete. We've got us a big old asteroid on a three week collision course with Earth. The asteroid has been named Attila after the war leader of the Hunts. The asteroid has been named Attila <laughs> after the war leader <laughs> of the Hunts, <laughs> who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Five, four, ignition. Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night if the shuttle is the last hope of the human race then it'll have to do the job won't it? so he's not wait a minute folks let me introduce the landing team Lutger Brink is a noted geologist he'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices we have to be accurate oh yeah we have to be the idea isn't to blow a tiller to bits if we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. Yes, of course. The German has to speak with an awful accent. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie <laughs> Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright. I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. And we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us.
großartig. Einfach großartig. Was für ein Intro, was für eine Musik. Es ist immer noch ganz erstaunlich. Low here. Come on out, kids. The water's fine. Robin's here. Going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Break here, going independent. Break here. <laughs> Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Ja, und wie wir es jetzt gesehen haben, unsere Aufgabe ist es jetzt also, den Asteroiden daran zu hindern, auf die Erde zu stürzen, indem wir Nuklearsprengsätze an ihm befestigen und ihn in einen sicheren Orbit sprengen. Für diejenigen, denen diese Geschichte ein wenig aus Armageddon bekannt vorkommt, sei gesagt, dass das Ganze tatsächlich eine Geschichte ist, die ursprünglich auf einem Drehbuch von Steven Spielberg basiert. Damals, das war glaube ich 1995, war die Tricktechnologie allerdings noch nicht so weit, um tatsächlich dieses Drehbuch zu verwirklichen. Und darum hat Spielberg das Ganze an seinen Freund George Lucas und dessen Spieleschmiede Lucas Arts weitergereicht. Und darum ist das Ganze auch für damalige Verhältnisse eine ziemlich aufwendige Produktion gewesen. Unser Commander Boston Lowe ist, äh, wird gesprochen von Robert Patrick, dem Schauspieler, der auch den Terminator T-1000 in Terminator 2 gespielt hat. Wo er nicht so viel sagt, aber es gibt andere Spiele, in denen, äh, andere Filme, in denen er tatsächlich ein bisschen mehr redet, wo man das auch gut hören kann. Und ich finde, die Stimme passt einfach sagenhaft. So, dann wollen wir uns das Ganze, wie gesagt, mal angucken. Das ist aber nur die oberflächliche Geschichte, denn wir werden sehen, das Ganze entwickelt sich zu einer ganz, ganz anderen Geschichte. Großartig. So, als allererstes müssen wir natürlich mal zusehen, dass wir hier unten unsere Freefall Tool Chest herausholen und dazu kommunizieren wir mal mit den Leuten im Shuttle. Load aboard and do you copy? Like carbon paper, boss. Und ich habe es gleich falsch gemacht, denn das ist derjenige, den ich jetzt nicht brauche. Low out. Ich brauche nämlich eigentlich Cockpit Miles. Out. Miles, come in, Miles. Yeah, 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 Boston, I'm on you. You wish. You wish. In your dreams. In your dreams. <laughs> Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. Wenn es irgendwelche Probleme mit Ton oder Bild gibt, schreibt es mir in den Chat. Ich habe die Augen drauf. Everything fine with the pig, Cora? Looking sweet, Boston. You just be good to my baby. Load a landing team. I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Follow me. Follow me. You be good to my baby, Boston, you hear me? We'll be back soon, Cora. Try not to miss me too much. Blow out. So, now we'll pick doch mal öffnen. It's where explosive alpha should be placed. The ground's too rough to attach the charge. Hmm. 
Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this break? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Of course, Commander. <lacht> ich hasse das, wenn die Leute immer so dämliche Akzente haben in Filmen, als könnten Deutsche, wie gesagt, alle nur mit Akzenten reden. Egal. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Und dann wollen wir das Ding nochmal machen. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. Dann haben wir die erste weg. Auf zur zweiten. Klar, solche Nukes müssen natürlich ganz präzise da positioniert werden. Nicht ein Stückchen links, nicht ein Stückchen rechts, genau da. Tja, mit dem Zero G Digger kann man da wohl nicht viel machen. Cora, Kent, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in Zero G under maximum, maximum thrust, thrust conditions. conditions. In other words, who knows? Might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying: whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in Quadrant 3. Acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. Of course, Commander. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. Load aboard and do your copy. I'm here, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Come on back home and we'll celebrate with a banquet of food in the tube. Low out. Cockpit out.
Motor Borden, do you copy? I read you, Low. What is it? Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear, landing team. All clear, shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Explosives armed. Houston gives us the go-ahead. Say when, boss. Do it. Now let's see, is it the big green triangle or the little red circle? Shut up and push, Ken. My baby's getting impatient. Here we go. We have detonation, alpha and beta. What are the instruments showing? Nothing big coming our way. What's the pig telling us, Cora? Attila's still in one piece. Hmm. There's a lot of seismic bounds, some, some fracturing. We're stable again. Uh, radioactivity in Quadrant One is well within the safe range. What does Houston say, Ken? Everything's go for a surface walk and your option. Now let's go, landing team. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. Projections of Nobis in our I think you're right, Brink. The stone projection isn't natural. Yes, but what is it doing here? A teleplate. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes, I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. 
Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. And what I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Lord. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterwards. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, Ken. Low out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? Hmm. I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. I'm going to push another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. the last one. Well, we've done it. Whatever it is we did. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander.
like someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet-type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid anymore. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. Here we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in L.A. Of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious agents. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. They have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. The oxygen in our suits won't last long anyway. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. Yeah, taste good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship, faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit, over. Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Yeah, I think that's the time. Yeah, it's the time point where we am best an hour-long pause. Und nach ungefähr einem Song wieder zurück sind.